I've tested dozens of fidget toys over the years, but for this compilation, I've put together all of the metal ones. These are often more expensive, but better quality than the plastic ones. So take a look and let me know which is your favourite. The first one comes inside this little case. Open it up and we've got this really interesting looking design. There's five balls mounted in these kind of holders. The whole thing weighs quite a bit and it spins really nicely. But it also comes with this. Inside here is this stand which we can sit down on the desk, and there's this cutout here for us to mount the spinner on. It matches the profile here on the inside of these thumb grips, so it just slots over like this, and give it a spin. Ha! It's like a cool little ferris wheel. And of course you can just take it back out and play with it in your hands, or keep it on the stand and watch it. But you may also have noticed this bag of marbles that came with it. There's also some spare screws and a mini screwdriver. And what I really like about this fidget toy is you can take it apart, you have to remove the thumb grips as well, and once you've loosened or removed all the screws, you can pull out the metal balls and replace them with these coloured marbles. Pretty cool, huh? Don't marbles always look great when you hold them up to the light? This is definitely one of my favourite fidget spinners. It is quite expensive at £24. You could fit it all in your pockets, although it's not the smallest. It makes very little noise, so I'll give it five stars. There's a few different ways you can use it, including taking it all apart, so it's got some longevity. So overall, I'm going to give it four and a half stars out of five. The next one comes inside this little case. It's this set of eight blue cubes, which are all joined together with these gold links to make this fidget toy. It's called an infinity cube, and pretty much the only thing you can do with it is rotate it and fold it. But it is actually really addictive and great fun to play with. You can do it with just one hand, and the more you practice, the more you find a rhythm. You can also just flick it back and forth with a finger and play with it on the desktop. This one's all metal and it's really nicely built. The quality feels really good. Not like some of the cheaper plastic ones I've seen. It makes a soft noise when you're fiddling with it, which I find really pleasant. It's not the smallest fidget toy, but it is portable. You can get them in different colours and it's a really smart looking thing for your desk. Now this one comes in this nice little pouch. I tipped it out into my hand, and we've got this metal ball connected to this sort of cylinder. It's actually magnetic, and that's how the ball's sticking to the side. And because there's not very much friction between these two surfaces, the ball can spin around the centre nice and freely. If you grip it between your thumb and forefinger, you can actually keep it spinning by shaking it back and forth. That's quite cool, I've never really seen anything like this before. There's other little fidgets you can do, like flicking it around the centre like this. Trying to capture every time in the same place with your finger is tricky. And of course when you do spin it, it's very out of balance because all the weight is very one-sided. But that's kind of the fun of it. And it's also quite fun just to play with it in your fingers, rolling it around. Because the whole thing is magnetic, the ball kind of sticks anywhere. I like the fact it's so small and portable this fidget, and the small amount of noise it makes is actually really nice. But next we're going to take a look at this. This is quite possibly the ultimate fidget pen. Open up the box and you can see there's a whole set inside. We've got a whole variety of different sized balls. There's 30 altogether of different colours. It comes with four refills here and one inside the pen. And there's some other paraphernalia which I'll show you in a minute. So I lifted the pen out and it's actually made completely out of little magnets. You can remove the end to reveal the pen and it works fine just to write like this. And if we want to you can take off the whole back like this too. In fact when you want to fidget you can dismantle the thing into complete individual pieces. It's all made out of of little magnets and what's great is we can combine them with these balls to start making things. There's three different ball sizes to choose from and you can just start sticking them together and adding bits to make some really cool stuff. For example this dog and I'm using the pen clip for a tail. How cool is that? You can make yourself a little stick man figure and use the balls for moving joints and this time I'm using the pen clip for a sword or with a bit more rearranging you can make a chair. What a great little fidget toy. You kind of forget it's a pen. So as well as the four refills they also give us these bits. Two different sizes of touchscreen tips. And to use them, make sure the pen cap's on, remove the end, and snap on a stylus tip. And when I tested it out, it works really well. What a cool fidget pen. And if you're enjoying this video and want to support me, please do subscribe. I've got loads more cool content coming soon. When rating this one, obviously if you wanted to take the whole box set, it would score quite low on portability. But because you'd probably just want to carry the pen with you, along with a few of the balls, I'm going to give portability a rating of 4.
Next I want to show you these. They look rather curious, like a coiled up spring. And they're actually massage rings for your fingers. The idea is you just slide it over and roll it up and down one of your fingers. Huh, oh, that's a really cool little massage. They're elasticated so they should fit most finger sizes. And they're made from stainless steel. And to be honest, I found they feel amazing. Rolling them up and down makes your finger feel a little bit tingly, but in a satisfying way. In fact, I find them a little bit addictive. You can do numerous fingers at once. And they're a great fun fidget to help you relax. The next fidget toy comes in this case. Open it up and it's this metal spaceship. There's a decent bit of weight to it, and it certainly doesn't feel cheap or plasticky. It really is solid. It's got some cool little UFO design features on, and it does something else really fun which I'll show you in a minute. But let's give it a spin, and yeah, it spins beautifully. And you can even hold the outside and just spin the middle. And because it's got some weight to it, it carries on spinning for ages. You can place it down and have a spinning UFO on your desk. And it's actually really cool when it spins a little bit slower. So the other thing that came in this case was this micro LED flashlight. It might look small, but it is actually really powerful. And the reason they gave it to us is because these green bits on the spaceship here are actually glow in the dark. So we can use the torch and shine over them to charge them up, then dim the lights and take a look. Oh yeah, that's really cool. A green whiz of light. You can slow it right down. And when they start to get dim again, just charge them up with a torch. <laughs> nice. What a cool toy. But next I want to show you what's inside here. It's this really cool metal rainbow spinner. It's got these six nicely coloured anodized orbs around the centre. Give it a spin and you get this really cool flash of colours. It feels really well made, it's a quality item and it spins really nicely. And you can even actually unscrew these orbs to change the configuration. Here I'm only using three. You could use four together like this or just two. And you can even just use it with none. But my favourite is definitely with all of them. This fidget is really nice and quiet, and it also feels great just rolling it around in your hand. And next we're going to take a look at what's inside this tin. Open it up, and we've got this really cool kind of chain and gears. Take it out of the packaging, and let's have a closer look. Well, check it out. It's all linked together with a chain, and it definitely looks and feels totally different to the other gadgets. You can kind of do all sorts with this. Hold it in the middle of one gear, and just twist the chain. Rotate it round and round on itself, like this this, or maybe just keep rotating the centre by holding the chain. You could try and spin it round in your fingers like this, or use it almost like a caterpillar track on a digger. Inside the case, it comes with these spare screws. That's a really good idea because it would be so annoying if you lost one and couldn't use it anymore. But of course, seeing these screws has made me want to take it apart to see what it's like. So I unscrewed one of the gears like this, and once it's off, remove the chain. That's kind of like the backbone of the fidget. I reassembled it, and it's not completely silent, it does make a little bit of noise, but generally it is very quiet. It's definitely portable though, and it would fit easily in your pocket. And while we're on the theme of bike chains, let's take a look at this. It's a couple of key rings linked together with two chain links. You can rotate them around each other like this. There's not much to it really. They are quite fun just to keep your fingers busy. You can also put the links together at one end, and rotate them like this too. But next I want to show you this. It's a really cool nine-geared fidget spinner, and it feels robust and really well made. And if we turn one of these gears, the whole lot just turns. Wow, check that out! And you can even turn the finger caps to rotate the gears like this. It feels really solid and well made, there's a decent bit of weight to it, so it spins for ages. And it even balances nicely on a fingertip. It comes with this allen key to tighten up any screws, but I'm quite inquisitive, so I wanted to take it all apart to see how it's assembled. So I undid all the screws, then I was able to slide out this gear. It's got this small bearing pressed into it, and it was slid over this bush. So I removed all the other gears, then unscrewed the finger caps, which allows me to separate the casings and remove the centre gear. So that's the spinner broken down into its individual components. And what could be quite fun is to put it all back into the case and give it to someone as a present. So it's a bit like a puzzle that they have to build themselves. It's quite good fun, like a metal jigsaw really. So if you know someone who likes fidgeting, it could be a great idea for them as a gift. You can also get smaller versions of the same thing. This one's really nice. It's made with five gears instead of nine. And what I do like is it's a really good size to hold in between your thumb and index finger, and you can rotate it around like this. You can even get a triangular one. This one's made up of four gears. It looks really smart, and you can get some really cool effects when you spin it and try slowing it down with your finger. But which of these is your favourite? You can let me know in the comments. I'm going to give this fidget an overall rating of four and a half stars. But inside this case is another style of geared fidget. This time it's like a cube 
with gears on four of the sides. They mesh with each other, so when you spin one, they all rotate. Give it a little spin, and it glides around. It spins really nicely, and again, if you wanted to, you can dismantle this one. Next we're going to take a look at this. They call it the massage bracelet. It's this curious kind of metal triangle, which kind of folds around in on itself. It's a kind of infinity toy. It just keeps going round and around. You can do it just with one hand, but I found it easier with two. It's definitely nice and portable and silent, and it comes in a few different colours. It seems to be built well, but it is a bit limiting to what you can do with it. Now, the next one we're going to look at is this really curious blue and red cube. It's made of anodized metal, and it's great quality. These red parts, both on the top and bottom, are free to rotate independently. And if you pinch them in between your fingers like this, you can spin the blue bit. Ha! Huh, that's really cool. And to begin with, I couldn't work out how this was made. So I gave the red sections a bit of a pull, and ha ah, look, there's the bearing inside. The other piece also slides out, and this blue bit is the main body with a bearing fitted. And when I was reassembling it, I actually realised there's a small magnet in the end of this shaft here. So that's what holds the other side on, allowing it to rotate independently. That really is a clever design. It's nice and portable and quiet, and personally I think it's a great little fidget. It's really nice and smooth to just rub your thumb over, or to roll it around in your hand. Next we're going to take a look at what's in here. They call it an optical illusion rotating ball. It comes in this nice little box, and when I ordered it there was a choice of colours and two different sizes. I ordered this blue one. Remove it from the packaging and here we go. It's made from an aluminium alloy, so it feels quite substantial and solid. It has this anti-skid silicon mat on the bottom, which should stop it sliding around and scratching your desk. And the idea is you just sit it down and give it a spin. And because it's quite weighty, it carries on spinning for ages. And there's this sort of spherical corkscrew helix, which creates this sort of really cool optical illusion. A bit like a wave, it looks like it's kind of climbing up out of the desk, or spin it the other way. And that's it, there's no more features than that, but it's pretty much silent and nice and portable, and you just put it on your desk or wherever you're working, and every now and again give it a little spin. What do you reckon? Do you like it? Now if we open up this case, inside we've got these two metal hammers, there's some additional metal pieces, and it also comes with this plastic spinner. So the hammers are actually miniature versions of Thor's hammer, Mjolnir. For some reason, the inscription on this one is upside down, but we can change that later. These are actually spinners too. There's bearings in the top, so you can grip the handle and give the top a spin. There's a fair bit of weight, so when we do spin it, it keeps the momentum and carries on spinning for quite a long time. But what I did also find was you can remove the handle by just unscrewing it, and they supply us with another thumb plate. So that screws in to replace the handle, then you can hold it in between your thumb and index finger, and use it as a more conventional spinner. Ha! Ah, that is quite cool! And mine came in a twin pack with this gold plated hammer too. So you could keep one at home and have one in the office, but they are fun to use together too. It definitely is a quirky desk toy, a little bit different. Now, next I want to show you this. It's a tube of gallium metal, and it's really not a fidget toy at all, but it has got some special properties. It's actually solid at room temperature, but if you raise the temperature by, for instance, putting it in a bowl of warm water, it turns into a liquid. And because it's non-toxic, you can actually handle it. So I'm pouring it into my hand. Here you can see the core from the centre of the test tube, which didn't have time to melt. And what's really nice is you can actually fill up a syringe with it and pour it out like this. And one of my favourite things I ever did with it was to make my own fidget spinners. To do this, I used some plasticine and a plastic fidget spinner to make a mould. After I made the imprint and cleaned it up a little bit, I took a skateboard wheel bearing, placed it in the centre, and filled the mould up with liquid gallium. Once it's cooled down and solidified again, I was able to just lift it out of the mould. And we've got this really cool homemade metal fidget spinner. Check that out! And as a final touch, I removed the caps from my plastic fidget spinner and used them on this one. And what is really nice is you can get creative and make all sorts of designs. For this one, I rolled out some plasticine and made a spiral around the bearing. Then I filled it up with gallium. Ha! Huh, it looks great! And after it had turned solid, I removed the plasticine mould, then fitted the bearing caps, and check that out! Obviously this one is weighted badly, it's completely out of balance. But it is really cool, and it was great fun to make. I made one of my other favourite ones like this. I used a plastic container like a stamp to make an imprint, then a pen top to make a series of spikes all the way around. I had to re-stamp the middle, then added the bearing, and filled it with the gallium to make this really cool kind of spiky fidget spinner. And with yellow bearing caps, 
It looks a bit like a sunshine spinner. Although gallium is non-toxic and safe to handle, it can leave a grey discolouring on your hand, which isn't particularly pleasant. But it does wash off easily with some warm water and soap. Now, if you'd like to see this really cool stretchy banana fidget toy, you can check out this video here, where I check out nine different gadgets. Have fun, stay safe, and as always, thanks for watching.